That'll be it. Alrighty, your total is 812. Hey y'all, Carpetbagger here, coming to you live from the south, more specifically, a Hardee's parking lot. Now anyone who knows me knows that I am an enormous fan of hamburgers and cheeseburgers, and I like strange and unusual hamburgers and cheeseburgers, you know, things that are unusual things. Sometimes I'm attracted to things that sound so disgusting that I think that they have to be good to try them. I ate in uh, Washington, D.C. at Ray's Hellburger. I ate the bone marrow hamburger. My wife will never forgive me. She wants to throw up at the word bone marrow. But I tried it. It was one of the best burgers I'd ever eaten in my entire life, as disgusting as that sounds. But here I'm at Hardee's because they have a new cheeseburger known as the most... American Thick Burger. And this thing is an odd work of beauty. It is a cheeseburger with a hot dog on it, as well as potato chips. It is the most American a hamburger can be, according to Hardee's. Let's take a look at this thing. that. That is monstrous. It's a little hot dog poking out, the, the potato chips underneath. Now this, I'm guessing, this right here is America in a bun. Let's have a bite. Look at this thing. Look at that. I'm a little scared. Hmm. Hot dog and hamburger. My my mouth is confused. It doesn't know what it just bit into. Let me let me shut this down. Why why I why I finished this? I don't think you guys want to watch. Okay. I've just consumed. The most American burger, cheeseburger with hot dogs and potato chips on it. Now, it may sound silly, but it tastes like a hamburger with a hot dog on top of it. Now that's a bad thing. I interesting taste. The potato chips add some nice crunch, some consistency. People who like a little bit of crunchiness in a burger probably appreciate that. Um, the burger itself kind of fell to pieces in uh, in my hands. You know, so much stuff piled on there with hot dogs and burgers and lettuce, tomato. Sorry, sorry, potato chips. You know, whatnot. It just kind of started to turn into this big ball of mess in my hands. A little. A little bit difficult, especially to eat in a vehicle, which is where I normally eat fast food, sitting in the driver's seat of a vehicle. Uh, I would definitely recommend it to people who just can't make up their mind whether they want a hamburger or a hot dog, or people who are just morbidly curious on why you would use a hot dog as a garnish. Overall, not terrible. I don't know that I will ever again be eating a most American burger, but as an as a novelty, it, it's worth the experience. So I'll give this, I don't know, I have not come up with a rating system, so I'll give it one thumb and two stars up. www.thecarpetbagger.org Thank you.